YouTube. What's good with y'all boys, man? Amen, say man. Before we start this video, I just want to tell you I do have a little credit repair business link in the description. It has an ebook. If you want to learn about credit, if you're a beginner to credit, you want to know how to get a score, you want to learn some tips and tricks, all that. Also, I have some done for you dispute letters. Dispute letters are basically, you know what I'm saying, you want to get like a hard inquiry or a late payment off. You know what I'm saying they are they, they're done for you all I have to do is edit them print them out and send them to the credit bureaus and also I have a service where well, I would do everything for you myself all you got to do is you know what I'm saying go exchange info through 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 the website link in the description like I said before and I would do literally everything for you so go ahead check it out link in the description or it will be right here on the screen too so go ahead check it out all right let's get to the video Two, what's good with y'all boys, man? Back with another video, and as you see by the title and the thumbnail, why well, I always get fucking, I always be out of breath saying, like, I'm getting fat. Title and thumbnail, yeah, you can see pros and cons of being in the military, feel me? Air Force, Air Force, I don't know nothing about, nothing about nothing, feel me? Um, this is just, these are all. Um, these are all my opinions, things that I've seen, things that I've been through, um, things that I know people, other people have been through, and then things that you can look up online and see, you feel me? More so for the benefits, or the pros of this video, I would say. I didn't look up, you know what I'm saying, I didn't do any research, I didn't, not research, I didn't do any like research on YouTube, so I didn't, I didn't see other videos and see what other people said. For me to, you know what I'm saying, piggyback off them. These are all things I found online, things that I've already known. And yeah, like I said, these are all my opinions. So, yeah. But I think it's only right to start off with the pros. So we might as well go with the pros. Um, The first pro is going to be, I have a list of things, by the way. So if you see me looking at my phone, then yeah. The first pro is going to be um, housing loans or BAH basically um what that is is literally you get a certain amount for housing to pay for you know what I'm saying the house your apartment blah 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 whatever and that can that can depend on where you live um like how much you get on where you live cuz you know obviously the rent is you know what I'm saying so like New York Cali obviously you're going to get a lot and then other places like where I am, I'm not getting that much, but I'm not getting like bare minimum of it. You feel me? Another pro is going to be food allowance. It's basically like BH or housing allowance, but you get money for food, obviously. So, yeah. Another one is going to be Ocola. I think that's how you pronounce it, but everybody calls it, or everybody knows it, calls it by Cola. And that's pretty much, um, you might be getting paid when you go, like, you might be getting paid a little extra money when you go overseas just because the currency difference you feel me that's this is what i heard this is what you can look up online do i know if that's true or not no because you know what i'm saying everything that the recruiter tell you and shit ain't true and shit you feel me so yeah i mean not saying that this is the recruiters you feel me pros and shit but like most of the shit you're gonna hear is like recruiter telling you or like shit you can look up Another pro is you will get paid. You get paid while you're on leave. Um, if you don't know what leave is, then it's just like it's like being off, basically. Like, yeah, it's just like being off, but you getting paid. But yeah, and like you, you know, what I'm saying they can't do anything with you or call you until you come in because you're on leave. For regular job reference, it's like sick leave or sick pay sick. Another pro is health and dental care. I think that's what most people join the military for, at least older people, at least. I, I'm, at least, I, I don't know. That's just, you know what I'm saying, or, but um, for dental, they may not, they may or may not cover for braces. Um, I've seen multiple videos when, before I joined, with people saying that they got the military to cover for the, for, you know what I'm saying, braces. I don't know how, but in the video, they was like, they said, like, if you need it, then military coverage. Bah, hey, don't shoot the best one, you feel me? Another pro is retired pay. Obviously, you feel me, I think everybody knows 
Well, not at least most of most people know. Or if if you're looking to join in the military, then you should know. If you do over twenty and you retire, you start getting paid. Um, yeah, some people are like oh twenty easy and shit like that. Yeah, it's all easy until you get in. Trust me. I had, I'm saying, my dad was like, you're going to be 38, 30, you know what I'm saying, 30, whatever. By the time you get out, you, you be looking good just off the chat. I'm like, yeah, sound good. Sound easy. Until I, I joined. And I don't know. <laughs> my another one, another pro, family supp supplemental substance allowance, or known as FSA. F S S A. You hear me? When you join the military, everything's fucking abbreviated. Like, literally everything. But yeah. So basically, this is extra money if you have a dependent and you are overseas. That's what I looked up. I. That's, that's, that's what I looked up. That's what online told me. It says, it literally said, you know what I'm saying? You get extra money if you have a dependent if you're overseas. Me personally, I didn't know that until I looked it up. So another pro is going to be discounts basically everywhere you go. I want to say it's more so like if if you're like, if it's like a base on in that city. You feel, you feel what I'm saying? Because obviously not every store everywhere has military discount. Maybe because there's no military really there, but not a lot of stores really have it. Another one. I guess it's a pro. I guess it's a sign-on and reenlistment bonus. Um, it's exactly what it sounds like. I mean, if you sign to a job, you might get like you know what I'm saying, a bonus, whatever, whatever for this job. I do. I don't know if you get that throughout your term, after your term, or whatever. I didn't have one. I know people who you know what I'm saying specifically pick the job just because. The bonus but i don't know how that works or when you get it whatever but yeah that all depends on the job that you get you feel me so it's not like oh you get a bonus just to you hear me for any job but yeah whatever um another pro is consistent pay that i'll say um obviously you know what you get every check i guess I mean, it's, it's a pro i guess you know what you get in every check instead of clocking trying to you know what i'm saying calculate your hours and shit. another pro i guess because everybody knows so free schooling and free free certifications i say free certifications because you have a limit on like basically have a money a money limit with certs you feel me so not it's not like at schooling it's fucking free the whole thing but you gotta you know what i'm saying basically manage your money for certifications anyways not enough of the factual and the recruiter pros, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? This is some pros that, you feel me, uh, that I came to see. Like, these are pros in my opinion. You feel me? Not no looking up online pros. You feel me? I definitely say the people that you meet um, and BMT slash training, if you know, another person, not if, it, if you're, you know what I'm saying, in another branch and you're watching. But yeah, the people you meet in training, tech school, and like when you get to your station, like it's just like like you just basically need these people to uplift you through these times. I'd say, especially in training, because boy, when I took training, ain't no joke. But then again, it's like kind of it's it's easy, but it just all depends on you know what I'm saying. All just, it just all depends on what you do. You know what I'm saying? It's basic for a reason. That's why that's what you're gonna hear, like probably if you go to basic or if you want to basic, that's probably what you heard. It's basic military training for a reason. But yeah. Um another pro I'll say is new opportunities. What I mean by new opportunities, I mean by like living on your own and doing things on your own. Um, you'll be surprised how many people join the military and never washed a fucking load of clothes in their life never cooked in their life never used a microwave never you know what i'm saying never did anything you'll be surprised applying for certain things um you know what i'm saying you give that you give that person trust in you because you're in the military listen i whatever and my last 
my last personal pro would be networking. You know what I'm saying? You can meet somebody that will help you. You know what I'm saying? That knows more than you in a, a certain business or niche that you might be into or like or, you know what I'm saying? You just never know. Now, to the cons. But mostly I've probably been waiting for it. Well, I've been waiting for it. No cap. Because I'm about to let some shit off my mouth. And... <laughs> Oh yeah, honey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, me, no, no, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, first con: your leadership might suck at whatever base you're at, or you might want to go to, or you're, or you that you are going to. You know what I mean? Your leadership just might suck, and that's just everybody knows that. For <sighs> It's just, it's just is what it is. You feel me? Um, a second con. There's no quitting, my guy. You want to quit? You're going to jail. It is what it is. You feel me? It, it sucks, but it's just like, it's what we signed up for, I guess. And I guess. I didn't want to, but I guess. I think we're on three. One, two. Yeah. So your third con is, you feel me? There's no calling out of work so there's no you know what I'm saying there's no hey um I don't feel like you know what I'm saying how y'all used to well how I used to I used to no work I used to make up excuses to not go into a job anymore <laughs> but yeah there's no doing that um another one is no calling out but this is basically the same thing it's no fake and sick you know what I'm saying it's no calling in fake and sick <laughs> I got a bad <laughs> cough you feel me it's just no faking sick because they just gonna make you go to medical early as fuck in the morning and get checked out anyways now now you can fake it you know what i'm saying if you're a good faker you can fake it but don't don't tell don't say that i said i, I ain't say nothing for her <laughs> um fourth i say fourth because third was like fourth and four and three was like the same thing so four um your mental health is gonna decrease drastically. Like, it's gonna, it's gonna be at an all time low, bro. And the military might preach about mental health and if you need help or something, go talk to, you feel me? Go talk to this person, go talk to that person. But then again, it's like, we're all human. We all try to figure things out by ourselves. Some people, I'm not gonna say we all, but some people try to push and get through things by ourselves and don't want other people in our business. So it's like, can I really just go talk to whoever and whatever? Because then again, we have to ask somebody to go talk to this person. And if you ask, you know what I'm saying? Words just, words just get around fast. So it's just like, especially where I'm at, words just get around fast. So it's just like, might as well just sit there and deal with it, bro. No cap. Um, Another con. There is no just picking the job you want. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to that time to pick your job. Yeah, you can make your dream list. Woo, woo, woo. But how the military is, you're going to get the job that's available. So let's say you want to do flight maintainer, whatever. You want to be a flight maintainer. You put that first on your list. And then you put services, what I am, last on your list. Services got to open it for you. Up oh, here you go. Services leaving in two weeks. You want that or not? So it's just like you feel me. Like yeah, you can say no and wait to get the job you want, but you never know how long you're gonna be waiting. You feel me? So another con: there is no guaranteed days off. Like yeah, you might see on the schedule. Oh, I'm off, or you know what I'm saying it's Friday, Saturday, whatever, whatever your schedule is. You might be off. If they want to call you and they say they need you, my guy. You better best believe you better go in. Just because you are, don't mean nothing. At least, you know what I'm saying, where I'm at and what I do. You feel me? Well, I want to say what I do now, but what I used to do. If I was off and they need me, then word. Another con, this is for all the folks, all my folks, you know, my peoples out there that don't want to go to school or, you know what I'm saying, at least don't want to get a degree. Because the job you want, the job you specifically want when you get out, or the job you, you know what I'm saying, the job you really, really want, you don't need a degree. 
they force schooling on you, even though they tell you they understand and you know what I'm saying it's okay if you don't go to school, they'll still force it on you. Like, it's just no escaping the Air Force or the military telling you to go to school. It's just no escaping it. So just be ready for that. And we got three more after this. Is everything is for the mission. And what I mean for the mission, I mean wearing the beautiful camo colored clothes every day and going to work and you know if you're ready to fight you gotta go fight you know go go in that field pick up a gun you know what i'm saying so yeah just keep that in mind i guess another one another con is going to be you have to respect every higher ranking than you like there's some higher power i wouldn't say every higher ranking but like if they're an officer you better damn believe you might as well be fucking rubbing their feet at night so they can go to sleep or some shit because bro <laughs> like i know you know what i'm saying i get it i get why we have to respect um people and all that I'm not saying, hold on, y'all. But yeah, I get, I get the whole respecting everybody, right? But it's just like, why am I sitting here respecting an officer like he's some type of king or something because of rank? <laughs> it is what it is. I signed up for it. You feel me? So, anyways. <coughs> Two more cons, by the way. Um, second to last con is going to be certain people talk to you however they want because of their rank. And what I mean by this is if I'm a staff sergeant or something, or just say I'm a yeah, just say I'm a staff sergeant and you're a, a baby airman, E1, E2, whatever. Best believe. Just because you're a lower ranking than them, they're going to talk to you however they want to talk to you and most likely probably get away with it. Because if you talk back, it's paperwork or some other bullcrap. You feel me? So it's just like, these are things that I, these are some of the, remember I told you, some of these cons are some things that I have experienced. You feel me? But hey, I'm not going to say too much. But anyways, last con, um... If you join as an E1, someone getting paid a minimum wage, working 40 hours per week, you know what I'm saying, getting paid weekly is probably getting paid more than you as an E1. As an E1, I would say you get paid like $600, $800, one of them, you know, the, the, the prices, the pay go up at least like a couple percentages every year, so I don't know what it is now, but y'all can look it up, just... If it says like 900, whatever it says per month, just divide it by two because you get paid twice. But yeah. Yeah, someone at fucking McDonald's could be paid, get, be getting paid more than you guys at E1. Um, and believe it or not, some people, I went to training with some people and never they never seen that amount of money ever. So, fam, it, it, it is what it is. I, I was working a job and was getting paid more than that. I mean, I'm working a job and getting paid more than what I'm getting paid now, so you feel me? But it is what it is. Yeah, that is going to be the last con. Um, I can go literally on and on and on. But if you're looking to join, then you'll see the small things that feel big to you. You feel? Or if you're already in and just watching just because you want to watch, then you know and you see just the, the small things too. You feel me? But like I said, that's going to wrap up today's video. Um, I just wanted to do that just because I need I need the video. You know I'm saying I won't end my feelings or nothing, but I just need the video. You said I'm saying YouTube, YouTube's gonna do what they gotta do. Me. But I wasn't gonna wear my uniform like some people be doing online. But you know, I guess for the video, I I have my squadron hoodie. You feel me? Uh, I was in whatever that say three twenty second. I think. Yeah, Eagles, second to none, whatever. Whatever they say. I don't really care. Anyways, it's your boy Mike. Let me know what other military videos y'all want to see or content y'all want me to produce, whatever. 
in the comments down below. You know what I'm saying if you are new, subscribe. Um, I, you know, what I'm saying I post military stuff like this, post car stuff. That's really it. Yeah. So if you like military or you're about to join the military, you're in the military or you like cars, subscribe. Nigga don't wait up, stop at that cap and then just get your weight up I want a bad bitch, like see five Barbados I post in the blocks, I've been riding tomatoes I'm